I find it so interesting that everyone on TikTok, whether you're pro this injection or not, whether you're pro passports or not, whatever the case may be, everyone feels the need to start their TikToks with the same thing. Listen, I just want you to know that I am not an anti-vaxxer. I am not anti-vax. I had my polio vaccine. I mean, where would the world be without the polio vaccine? What a derogatory, outrageous, disgusting word. And need I remind you, this is not a vaccine. The one in question is not a vaccine. And this is really not about whether you're pro or anti anything. This is not about whose team you play for. You can have the most miraculous unicorn injection that's ever existed on this planet. It still doesn't make it right to force people to get it, to manipulate people to get it, and to coerce people to get it. People are literally just getting it because they're traumatized. They don't want it. They're looking into the research. They're seeing that it has ingredients like SM-102, like it has graphene oxide. They're seeing the, the, the people who are actually having very real reactions like strokes and blood clots and heart attacks and the thrombocytopenia and all kinds of issues. They're looking at these people being censored and shadow banned and they're not allowed to have a voice and they're going, well, why can't I know that they were hurt? It's to protect you from yourself. Like, it's just, it's insane. And I come on here and we have people across TikTok who are literally hopping on here and saying things like, people are dying. Yeah, people are dying from the vaccine too. People are dying and if you don't get this, you don't deserve a hospital bed. You should just like go die. And if anyone on social media even just is questioning things, because, you know, I think with the amount of pressure on all of us to get this, we should be questioning it. People are questioning it, and then other people are like, oh, that's because she's an anti-vaxxer. But not me. I'm, I'm not. If you believe that people shouldn't have the right to decide what goes into their own bodies, a thing that is literally killing people for any reason. I don't care if it's the deadliest virus on the planet, but this one just happens to not be. It has a 99% survival rate. I understand people are dying. I understand people are getting sick, but you should look into the stuff that's going on with Dr. Brian Artis um, about remdesivir and how a lot of these cases that are in the hospital are actually people getting sick from the treatment, not from the bug, right? They go in with the bug, they're anxious, and then it's actually the protocol they have to follow that's making them sick. If you don't believe that people should have the right to govern their own bodies, that's a heavy reality to live with.